Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Elite Clockman here. The whole season 8 of Skibidi Multiverse just dropped with some secret scenes between the episodes. But for this video we will only focus on the new scenes. But don't worry, if you want to see me analyze the rest of the episodes my friends, go watch it on my channel. As for the new secret scenes let me tell you they are pretty juicy. Turns out the scrawny blue cameraman can cook, and trust me this man knows his way around the kitchen. There might be a human child in the Skibidi verse. After a long absence, we finally got to see G-Man Toilet. But that's not all. For you see, my friends, this video is pretty special. For the first time, Elite Clockman, ours truly will analyze the blooper of episode 32. Because for the first time, we actually saw another Titan cameraman. But before we get to all of that, make sure to like and subscribe, or I will take your math teacher on a hot date tonight. Anyways. Here we go. Of episode 32 starts at the end, at the three Titans fist bump. After that, Titan TV Man teleports away. And as for Titan Clockman, he pulled a peace sign and disappeared into thin air doing a reference to the famous meme. Titan Cameraman was now the only one left on the spot, but just as he was about to head out, the unthinkable happened. A portal opens in the back, and a whole other Titan Cameraman comes out. You can argue that it's his future self, but no, he is way too different. You can also hear the Miguel O'Hara theme song from Spider-Man onto the Spider-Verse, a masterpiece, by the way, in the background. After that, the new guy tells him to come with him. Right after they point at each other, referencing yet another meme and a Spider-Man meme, that is. And that's the end of the blooper. Now we all know that the bloopers are rather not canon, but two Titan cameraman. Come on. There is no way they would make a whole other one just for the fun of it. I'm so confused. Please tell me your opinion in the comments, my friends. But now let's focus on the secret scenes. Here we go. The first secret scene starts off at 2005. It starts with what looks like a real nightmare. All looks dark and scary, we can't really see what's happening. But it looked like some cameraman screaming and suffering. When all of a sudden, it all stopped. And the dreamer wakes up. It was no other than the blue cameraman. He opened his objective and immediately wakes up. From the looks of it, that man slept on the floor right next to the couch. Or rather, I think he fell from the couch. The house he woke up in seems really peaceful, nice and cozy. You can hear the birds singing at dawn, which really is weird considering we didn't see a single animal until now. Maybe it's because of the raging war. Anyways, Blue Cameraman woke up and opened the fridge, sliced some tomatoes, washed the ingredients in the sink and cooked what looked like a steak, and sliced some lettuce all according to the recipe of the TV Man cookbook. For once, things are going pretty soothingly and slow for one of our heroes. The meal was now finished and ready to be served. Blue Cameraman stopped at the door, took a deep breath before entering the room. To our surprise, it looked like a nice and cozy bedroom, and from the looks of it, it looks like we are in a countryside house, confirming the fact that my kind can own a house. We can see a nice drawing of the Blue Cameraman with the pencilman on the wall and a picture with a cameraman is also present in the room. Hiding under the blanket, we see a small figure sitting on the bed. The blue cameraman put the food on the table, and if you pause at the right moment, we can see another plate on the table. Whatever or whoever this is, it's not his first night here. Shortly after, blue cameraman received the message calling him to the final battle against the toilets, and with that, he heads to the battle after looking at the little blanket monster in the last seconds of the scene, we see some books on the side of the bed, and all of them have the name of one of the races of the Alliance, like they want him to know about them, the new people that lives on the planet, and scene. But here is the crazy part. We never saw a cameraman, a TV man, or even a flippin' toilet eating some food. Except for the toilets, every other race is made of metal and does not need food to stay alive. And since I'm sure as hell that ain't no toilet, there is only one option. This is a human. As for the next special scene, we switch to Skibidi Base 1, with the toilets getting ready for war. We can see one of their engineers finishing what looks like a giant, massive, crazy weapon of mass destruction. We also see some of the average-sized toilets. All of them are using some kind of over-weaponized mecha suits. Shortly after, we see two of these super soldiers opening a container with extra security on it. Whatever or whoever is inside that cage is not to be messed with. After the container fully opens, 
we see a familiar face. It was no other that G-Man toilet. But something seems off. His skin looks weird, he's wearing an oxygen mask, and his eyes are ice blue. In other words, that toilet of a man is finally dying. But it looks like he will go out with a bang. And that's the end of the episode. We have reached the end of this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you want me to take not one but two of your teachers on a hot date. See you soon, my friends.